Hello everyone. Here we are talking about ISO 27001 Control A14 that is System Acquisition, Development and Maintenance. In this video, we are going to concentrate particularly on A14.2 that is Security in Development and Support Processes. First, let's focus on the objective of security in development and support process. So the objective is to ensure that information security is designed and implemented within the development life cycle of information systems. 14.2 has total of nine controls such as secure development policy, system change control procedures, technical review of application after operating platform changes, Restrictions on changes to software packages, secure system engineering principles, secure development environment, outsource development, system security testing, and system acceptance testing. So the first one is secure development policy. It states that rules for development of software and systems shall be established and applied to development within the organization. It means that rules for software as well as system must be developed. These rules must be applied in the entire organization and regular testing of compliance of this policy must be performed. Second one is system change control procedures. It states that changes to system within the development life cycle shall be controlled by the use of formal change control procedure. It means that change implementation policy must be defined. Assessment of this change must be done with respect to security measures. Automated testing tools are available to identify and assess such changes. And regular reports must be produced with respect to compliance of such procedures. Third one is technical review of applications after operating system changes. It states that when operating platforms are changed, business critical applications shall be reviewed and tested to ensure that there is no adverse impact on organizational operations or security. Fourth one is restrictions on changes to software packages. Fifth one is secure system engineering principles. It states that principle for engineering secure systems shall be established, documented maintained and applied to any information system implementation efforts. Sixth one is secure development environment. It states that organizations shall establish and appropriately protect secure development environments for system development and integration efforts that cover the entire system development life cycle. Seventh one is outsource development. It states that the organization shall supervise and monitor the activity of outsource system development. Eighth one is system security testing. It states that testing of security functionality shall be carried out during the development process. Information leakage has to be prevented in this testing. Confidentiality, integrity, authentication, availability, authorization and non reputation are checked while performing system security testing. And the last one is system acceptance testing. It states that acceptance testing programs and related criteria shall be established for new information systems, upgrades and new versions. Now, this acceptance criteria must be developed for two separate ways. For first, it is newly developed and second is for upgrades. 
these are the references which we have looked at while making this PPT. And for more details, kindly visit our website that is http colon slash slash www.hypeforhyphenconsultancy.com. Thank you.